Well, let me tell you how I got to Macon, which is uh, another story. Uh, I applied for the Army Air Corps. I took the test. I got a beautiful mark. And, uh, and in fact, a fellow by the name of Sam Anderson uh, and I were the first two that finished the test. Uh, the, the test was quite long and all. They had, I imagine, 200 of us taking the test. Uh, there. And they had four, they had two officers in the front and they had four sergeants with sticks in their hand, uh, they call them cadre sticks, that were walking around. Out of the four sergeants, 198 could have cheated and they wouldn't have seen it because two of them kept standing over Sam and the other two standing over me. Yes. Uh, but Sam finished first and went up and got his answer. He had a, a struggle with the, with the uh, officer correcting the test. They had an answer sheet with holes punched in it, the yes. system that they still use. And you, what you do, you put it on, you put the correction sheet on the answers, and where you see black marks, you had the question right, and when it's a white mark or with no mark, you have it wrong. And Sam and the fellow were pushing back and forth until finally <laughs> Sam said, wait a minute, this is it. And he had a grip on the, <laughs> on the paper. And so he left. And when I decided to get up uh, and went up there, I put it on the paper and I pushed it up real quick. And I put my hand down and held it down also <laughs> and uh, to find out about it. And I understand that you... Uh, had the highest mark of all of the men in that group. Sam had the highest mark. Sam had the I highest hate him mark. For that, but, uh, you were number two. I was number two. <laughs> well, that's not bad. <laughs> well, it, it's uh, it's bad if you have to live with Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, he's still a good friend. Uh, <laughs> and I met him there. That's you where met, I met him uh, there at the at the uh, test. But what did you do for recreation? How did you socialize off the base? And were there any black performers around yes. at those places? They bugged us. We bugged them about being in there. And they finally, the Army Air Corps wrote me a letter saying, we accept your volunteering for the Army. For the Army. And I dashed down to Whitehall Street and said, no, no, I volunteered to go to the Army Air Corps. And they said, no, you didn't. You volunteered for the Army and hopes of going to the Army Air Corps. And since there's no colored in the Army Air Corps, no intention and no organization, they went through the whole thing and said, and so there'll never be one, but we are accepting you. And the next day, they had me in Camp Upton. And a week after that, after further testing, I was assigned to the 16th Training Battalion at Camp Wheeler, Macon, Georgia. So was Sam Anderson. Uh, we reported down there. Two things happened. Number one was that they put us on a train along with a number of other uh, African American troops. And we were all over the train till we got to Washington, D.C., the capital of my country that I was going to fight for. And they pulled us, all of the colored troops, off the train and put us in the first car behind a coal-driven engine and gave our seats to white people. Uh, and then we traveled all the way to Macon, Georgia, on that train that way. We got off the train in Macon, Georgia. They had two uh, train station rooms, a big, fancy one, it had a sign over it that said white and a little small section on the other side of it that said colored. And some of us not knowing any better or ignoring the signs uh, went in the wrong one where we were promptly put out by the police. The military police called the police because we were saying, nah, we're, we're in the station. I remember thinking that uh, that was probably the biggest slap in the face I had in life it was going to the Washington, D.C. and have to change trains to give uh, my seat to someone else. Because of and your color. Because of my color. Exactly. I was probably cleaner, smarter, better educated, more polite, 
than 90% of the other people. Now, that's arrogant, but I think it's... No, it's not arrogant. And, uh, but, uh, and they should have been glad to have me in the car with them, but uh, it wasn't. And I, I, I held that in against the government until I came back from overseas, which is another insult. But we were there, they had 15 bat uh, battalions at uh, Macon, Georgia. 16, 15 white ones, huge base. And three miles away from that base, a little small base with the 16th Battalion, which was, quote, the Colored Battalion. And that was the problem. Uh, they, the white soldiers, after school, after work, after training, went into the city, had a great time. We couldn't. We couldn't even ride the military bus. I see. In the front seats. I remember sitting in there with a young white uh, recruit like myself to, uh, to, go to, to go to town, and we got out the gate on it. But later that evening, when we met at the train, at the bus station again, he and I sat together in, in about the middle of the bus, and the MP asked us to get out. I Separate. See. You go to the back and you stay here and he had his line and we argued about it uh, in fact the young white fellow said oh, well we're sitting together we're buddies so and so and so the MPs got off the bus went out and got a civilian policeman mm -hmm. who came in with blood in his eyes and uh, you can't and uh, he put me off the bus <laughs> he told me to get off the bus and wait for the next bus, and uh, that was it. The recreation down there was completely separated, even on the base. They even had a, quote, small colored PX, post exchange, a little room in the end of a barrack for the 16th Battalion. I retrained down there after much testing and became a telegrapher, uh, radio the telegrapher field network communications, rather complicated. And incidentally, Sam Anderson became a map maker, a very skilled job. And uh, we stayed there. We, for recreation, you had two things. You could go to the hard core bars and restaurants that the, the lower class backs had there. And you couldn't go to the families and all because we were just transient soldiers, only going to be there for three months. And or you could go to what was called the service club, and there was one at a place called Georgia Baptist College, where they used to have uh, little Friday evening and Saturday evening dances, etc., like that. And uh, that was our salvation.